Lady Freeze, representing Combat Club Portugal, Sylvia Leonora! And her opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, making her UK FC debut, and representing Aspire. A women's amateur catchweight bout contested over 60 kilograms. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Combat Club Portugal is Silvia Leonara as she faces Aspires Combat Sports Academy's Dakota Decheva. Yeah, oh. They've had to go to the continent to find um, somebody willing to fight Dakota in her uh, MMA debut. Obviously, got a vast experience in Thai boxing. Thai boxing 11 and 1, I think 11, 1 and 1 actually, her mum a Thai boxer, but she said her style's like her mum's forward and aggressive and that's exactly what we're getting tonight. Yeah, big pressure straight away, she just has to be careful, obviously uh, in Thai you clinch, you, it's not working, you're going to get separated, she do not want to punch herself into a clinch too often, nice got to le learn to take a step back Another and land the shots, but very strong there. And picking those knees well, coming from a spire combat. As well, Sports Academy over there, Dean Garnett in the corner. Yeah, a good gym to uh, help a transition into the mixed martial arts game. Lisa Howard, her mother in the corner as well, just watching on. Has watched the compete 13 times in Thai boxing. Now stepping into MMA, very excited to do this felt. This is a tough test as well, and uh, Silvia Leonardo. They've got her down as O and O and on the thing, but I know she's had fights before. I think she's for uh, I'm sure Freeman. She, yeah, I'm sure Freeman. she's two and two. I uh, think so. I'm yeah, I'm sure that was was announced. Certainly, we've seen her a couple of times. Kennedy Freeman. That's right. I think yeah. she's fought her before. Yeah, good knees there from Dakota. She'd do well to uh, free her right arm and try and frame off and try and get back out in the open. She, you know, blistering attack at the start of the round. Do you think there's some pressure for her to show some of the grappling, not just make it a, a Thai boxing fight, maybe show that she is moving towards this MMA uh, evolving fighter? I mean, yes and no. I'm sure she'd like to show that if it comes to it, but you know, what striker doesn't want to go in there and, uh, and knock someone out at the end of the day? Leonardo yeah. staying strong in the clinch there. A better position for her. She's trying to close the distance, trying to work a takedown. Dakota, without a few tools, she can't knee to the head, she gets oh. tripped there. She can't knee to the head, can't elbow, which she's been used to. Let's see what she's got off her back. This is where, near enough, everybody who fights her is going to want to uh, gonna want to put her. So, good feet on the hips, yeah. creating space. And Portugal, there's a growing Brazilian jiu-jitsu scene over there. Obviously, the Euros happen there each year. Let's see what... Oh, looks at the triangle, oh. Dakota, she's thrown the leg over. Stuff the arm. Let's see if she can cinch this up. Pulling down on the head. Yeah, she needs to get that left leg across Whoa. the shoulders. She's trying to find an angle. It's getting tighter. She might use her right arm to grab her shin and pull that in. And Maybe. Leonardo is putting herself further into that by driving her head in. Maybe switch to the arm bar. No, feeds the arm across the right thing to do now. Yeah, looked like she was going to try and pull the foot. She's not going to have the time to finish it. Gone to the arm. She's going to have the time to really attack for that. Only a few seconds left now. Wow, but show us. Those long legs aren't just good for kicking. A superb triangle she threw up. She's doing all the right things off the cage there to, to tighten it up. Make switch to the armbar, but just not enough time. Yeah, I mean, a very good attacking game from her back, which is, you know, hey, no doubt a time uh, at place where she's going to be spending a lot of time when she's just getting started in wrestling and grappling you know she'll be getting taken down a lot put there so you've uh, you've got to have good submissions and you've got to have good stand-up she's at the very least shown us that she can threaten with submissions from there i think advice from the corner coming out for round two would just be once she starts letting go of the strikes just to keep half a step back you know and not smother her work yeah, i'd like i'd like to see her use some of that striking that range now Soften up Leonora and okay. 
Set for round number two. And Jay, you touched on it bef before they uh, kicked off round number one. Dakota struggles to get opponents. This has been the third opponent she's been given for this event. She said that's been a stress in itself, not knowing who she's fighting, who she's preparing for. But finally, she's in the cage after a long layoff. Yeah, nice competing. kick catch oh. and a lovely sweep. Hard right hand straight in. She's legs not in a good position to take the back. And Leonardo does a good job of getting back up to her feet. With that left leg trap, she's going to struggle to get out to her opponent's back. So maybe rip her up there with her right hand. Stand her back up. Oh, nice take down there, but in the scramble. Yeah, good balance, good manoeuvring there from Dakota. And then a nice, nice sprawl as well. So Watch. now she can either stay on the ground and keep trying to attack or she can stuff away and try and get back to her feet. And this will be the test of uh, what she wants to try and show tonight. Staying heavy there now, standing up and... Yeah, just... and back up. Oh! Oh! Big right hand out to the back. That rock, Leonara. And again, just, ca nice just kept hold a little bit when she didn't quite need to, but that's um, old clinching habits die hard, I guess. <laughs> And that just not giving the space. It was only contact oh, that, nice. that let Leonara know where she was. Oh, but look at this. Hand and the ref waves wow. it. Wow. Dakota, the Javer, takes the victory here in her MMA debut. What a fighter. For a moment, I thought she had landed an elbow. Yeah, it looked like a forearm certainly came through. But I don't know if an elbow landed, as I say, old habits. Die hard, it was the punch that did the damage when she broke off and landed. I think it was just more muscle memory than anything. I don't know if you caught that moment there. Well, obviously, there's a moment happening now between mum and daughter, between Dakota, but the first person Dakota's mother went to was Leonara, just to say thank you for competing, gave her a hug, and that was nice to see, and then embraced the daughter. Great performance, and what a finish from Dakota. You see what it means to her. I think she's still going to struggle to get fights, right? Yeah, yeah this is not going to help. And the thing is, I mean, I, I maybe mean, it's far too early, but this is a young lady that's got Paige Van Zandt looks and talent, starting out barely 20. Sky's the limit. In the cage. This contest has reached its conclusion. One minute and ten seconds into round number two. The U winner by TKO, Dakota Vincheva. And your continued appreciation.